Just this week, Nathan, we heard that there's more than likely Daily Mount's project is going to possibly take till 2025 and more than likely spill over into 2026. This could rumble on for a while. And, and, and this is this is what we were talking about before. You know, they've already changed it from 10 to 6,000. It's yeah. gone from 10 million to 35 million. Now they're dragging it out. This is Dublin uh, County Council and Dublin City Council and every other council. This is the kind of thing you see all over the country yeah. where things get dragged out and there's stuck under paperwork. This is not good for Bose, is it? No, it's not. And I think, uh, uh, do you know what is probably the most hypocritical time that we can talk with this because I just, uh, how exciting they are. But the one thing that does let them down is, is the stadium and the, 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 the state the stadium. It's it's falling apart at, at the same and it's, it's badly needed uh, a redevelopment. And I know we we had the lads from the, Tal- the Save Tolka Park campaign and in fairness, they were never against the redevelopment of Dale Mount Park because anybody, anyone that has a fading interest in football has even looked at Dale Mount Park knows that it's in, in bad it needs more they like paint at this stage and badly needed of a real redevelopment but yeah that's the issue isn't it it really really is and there's frustration around it too if you, if you look at the, the, the fan interest engage with the fans that's uh, every word that seems to come back is frustration in terms of the timing like i said the the, the capacity is going down but the money is going up um but they do have the issue with with uh, i know shelbourne are playing ball but yeah, people around the Save Tolka Park campaign, they feel like that is the, the best selling the, the ground of Tolka Park isn't the best way to go about it. So yeah, there's there's definitely there's plenty of different moving factors here. And it really, really could. Me and you talked about this a while ago that we could realistically be looking at a stage where you don't have a redeveloped uh, Daily Mount Park and Tolka Park stays where it is and, and nothing happens because like you said, when you're dealing with uh, Dublin City Council or County Council, I think it is Dublin City Council City that, Council, that yeah, are doing all is. this. Yeah, yeah. It's you've you've designing anything by committee is an absolute nightmare, isn't it? When you, you have all the sales and you, you have different uh, financial reasons for making decisions and not making decisions. Yeah, it, it really, really would not shock me in the least. It, it, no, I hope it does go ahead, but we could be looking at a world where after all this, nothing happens. And this I think the only, thing, the only thing about the Daily Mount Park thing is, I said it before, Dublin City Council want to regenerate the area around Daily Mount Park. And I think that's the one thing that we'll say about it, is that if they want to get the area done, the stadium needs to be included in that. So the fact that they want the area around Daily Mount Park to be regenerated, I think that's the one saving grace if you're looking at it. Yeah, but they're talking about four or five years, Nathan. Yeah. And you know, you look at everything that happens in this country. You look at the, the children's hospital how yeah. much that is costing, how, how long that is taken. You look at anything that this country does and it gets dragged out. You could, It's very possible that you mightn't see a stadium there for another six years, seven years. And then you're looking at a 6,000-seater stadium when we're trying to build, the, the, the promote the league, where they can fill out nearly Lansdowne Road for a European game. You know, that, yeah. that wouldn't be a problem to them. So... 6,000 for a, for a club like Bowes, it's just not enough. It needs to be minimum 10,000. Minimum 10,000. Yeah. Probably 10,000 is the right number, actually. So yeah. probably minimum 9, uh, maximum 11. But that's that's the number that you're looking at to try and, you know, you want to improve the league, you're going to have to look at the capacities going up. Uh, the capacities will go up. You can look at the way the league is going. You need to have a bit of foresight. And by the time this gets done, and if it's a six thousand seat or, or all seat or stadium, uh, it's behind the times already. Yeah, and you need to have not only four, so you need to have a bit of ambition as well. And then there's nothing wrong with that at all. Like I said, look at your, these European nights are perfect examples, aren't they? That's the the, 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 the previous game just gone on tour. So that eight thousand was sold out in ninety minutes. So the demand is there. And again, going back to the season ticket numbers and their membership numbers, and just the general fan base. Not every fan is a season ticket or a membership holder, and that's fine as well. Uh, away numbers too yeah uh, 6,000 after all this time all this money all this work just seems like a bit of a copy really doesn't it after mm. all the waiting around and the speculation of what's going to happen and the design plans getting constantly changed and fixed over you can't you can see why the Bohemian fans are really frustrated about the project as a whole and just finishing on that do you think that the more it gets delayed the more it helps to save Talker Park project I think so, doesn't it? Yeah, I th- I think it really does. I, I you look. Um, I I have to say I can't quote it off the top of my head, but we we do we we, we both do. We, we keep a look on the Save Tolga Park, and there's, there seems to be constant updates there, doesn't there? And just and the only minor updates. It could be you know, 
talks that happen with local TDs, it could be certain legislation they're looking to push through. Again, I can't, don't quote me on anything, um, but the, you can see that there is progress being made in the Save Talk Park campaign, and this can all be stuff you can point at, couldn't it? Saying, well, look, the, look at the cost, look at the, the cost is rising. And if you present the, the uh, monetary figures that are inflating to any city council or any committee or, or any sort of substance, you know, that's that's going to be something they're going to want to look at. That's going to be something they're going to want to re-review. So, yeah, it's definitely is one, isn't it? Actually, now that you say it, it's something that could go in, in the favour of the Save Talk Park campaign. So it'll be interesting to see what happens from, from that side of things as well, because it, it, there's no reason why we, we can't have a redeveloped um, Daily Mill Park and a redeveloped Talk Park. It can only benefit the league having... A, a, a two high quality standard uh, stadiums uh, over in the north side of Dublin.